say something else before I go to the next call. One of the things that has to happen, when you saw, and I, and I put this up, I'm going to put this back up just to remind people of what, what they're looking at. I want you to look at this. And I want you to look at how white women came out for more. Now I want you to look at this in terms of feminism. These white women ain't with us. I want you to see black women on one side voting for Joan, and we see white women on the other side. Instead of talking about people keep telling us to divide ourselves and divide each other, my question is when are we going to take on these white women? They keep saying, oh, we're all in it together, and we as sisters should do whatever, and we're going to all go and wear the coochie hats or whatever. But what are y'all going to do for us? Because when it always comes down for y'all voting in the interest of black women, y'all always fall short. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do for black women who you call your sisters? It's time to start calling these women out. They're not there for us. They're not doing stuff for us. They're not caring for us. They're not doing anything. When are we going to call them out? It's almost like we're scared to call them out. Are we scared to call them out? Y'all voted for Trump. Y'all voted for this dude who was, who was, who was, who was focusing on underage girls. When are, y'all, when are we going to call these women out? So, Thank you, Carla. Yeah, these women, they have it both ways. They have it both ways. They get to say, I'm a woman. They get to double dip. Meanwhile, your husband is the person everybody's ranting against, so you get the double dip. I'm a woman. I'm a, I'm a minority, but I'm also married to the man that you, the, 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 the oppressor. And then I come out, and you look at that. That's the reason I leave it up. Look at white women. That's 60 some percent. You don't care about us. There's no way you could care about black people. Hear what he said about slavery. There's no way you could care about women, other women, and hear what he said about dating other women, hanging out at malls and stuff. Y'all are, y'all are, y'all are pitiful. Like, when are we, when did we as black women go hold these white women accountable and say, no, ain't no, ain't no sisterhood. Ain't no sisterhood with you until you start doing stuff that reflects that you care about what happens to us. That's just it. Thank you, Carla. I appreciate it. I appreciate you calling in. And the thing is, he, he's right. They don't want us to be a collective. Like, we don't understand the game that's being played. The game that's being played at every angle is to just split us up. And we never used to be that way. We never used to be a group that you could just split up. We never used to be that group. And I'm going to tell you something that you might not understand. Like when you said, he said something. Let's call something that's very important. He said, them white women for the most part, not, not, not identically, because they didn't vote at the same level as white men, but a lot of them, I'm going to vote the way my husband votes. I'm going to tell you that ain't feminism. I'm going to tell you a lot of these white women who are claiming to be feminists ain't feminists. Instead, they're just liars. Because in the end of the day, when it comes down to it, they're going to either vote for Trump or they're going to vote the way their husband want to vote. And you're going to follow them. I ain't following them nowhere. We got to determine as a community what we're going to do and how we're going to be and how we're going to vote. And we cannot let these people come in and say, see, the, the black women, did, the, you know, the black men was just 93, but they was like 97, 98. No, what, you don't get to come in and tell us and, and cleave us apart like that. Because everything we've done is African-Americans in our history. We have done it. We have done it based on sticking together. Everything that we have done, we have done it as a collective. We have not allowed people to manipulate us and take us in separate directions. Right? And we have to understand the most important thing to us, and and it don't mean that other stuff don't matter, but the most important thing to us is race. That is the thing that impacts us economically more than anything else. You have to. You absolutely have to. Understand that. And if you don't understand that, then I don't know what we're going to do.